Hi guys, I've just installed the latest Arc Linux XL and the topic of the video is ButterFS and Arch shooting into it. This morning I've made tutorials about Arch Linux and uh, phase 7, so the Arch Linux way of doing things and then choosing if I stop. So I've been in this morning all the time in Arch root and I thought that's still an open thing to do. That is shrouting or arch shrouting into a ButterFS formatted system and I've installed the latest ISO the one that is going to be released in seven days and is already now AEG and I've set go format as ButterFS so you get these sub volumes that you create we have home and well the root let's say and then home and another root and that's the home for the user root and the server and the var cache the var log the var tab so all these sub volumes it's basically butterfs the information or the necessity or the power i really want to pass that message along that you can fix any arch linux based system with this word arch shrewd right so read anything and listen to anything that's about shrouding into your system you can if you got a knowledge and if you got an iso from archlinux.org right download burn keep it separate it's for me it's a little black thing and i know the little black thing is the only black thing there all the rest is aluminium the black thing is arch arch fixes my computer i can go inside my computer with the command and the knowledge that we give you that they give you and to arch root into it now this has been covered all right so if you type arch Linux, arch root and endeavor os arch root and garuda arch root i mean get your knowledge you'll see that there is information online and this is in context with X4, which is the default, I would take as a general rule for beginner in Linux. I say just take X4, and then you have these rules here. These are the ways to do it, and on bias, you have to do something else, etc. etc. And then we have two websites this is Arclinks D, which is good, and there's also Arclinks.com, and it's referring basically back to the Arclinks D. And there's one article that we're now creating and that is covering ButterFS. This is information that can help you fix your computer black screen. Nothing happens. What's going on, right? Have no clue at all. Arch shoot into your system. So we're gonna follow this new guy that we're writing right now, ButterFS. And down here, all explanations. And down here, we're going straight to the practical exercise okay so on my second screen i'm gonna launch the browser and voila i've got the page let's break our system right why would you go for arch shooting if you break things okay breaking things guess what that's super easy right cd boot many things maybe we should have a look Many things, many posts out there are um, Linus, Linus with a Z, Linux not found. Right? Linus, Linux not found, this one. Boot VM Linus, Linux not found. That is a hundred thousand, I don't know. <laughs> many, 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 right? Have this where is this unable to boot into linux vm linux with a z linux not found not found not found not found not found not found it just keeps on pouring not founds so let's do that one <laughs> let's go and get our message as well right sudo remove vm linux linux i just broke my system i reboot And then he tries to boot into the system and he says 
well we do have something special there there's this this add sign add sign boot vm linux linux not found advanced options same thing same thing we are in trouble make sure that you have not the arch linux xl but the arch linux uh, sorry the arch linux this one is from beginning of March 2024, 0301, doesn't really matter if it's six months old. Have an Arch USB ready, always available, just in case of this. Now you say, let's boot up any way possible on your system, boot up from the USB. So now we're going to go into Arch and the hard disk is there it's not mounted we don't do anything with it it's just there we have an arch Linux in the memory and we boot up and then we need to go and have a look at the article and there will be differences I'm pretty sure there will be dif differences between uh, all the hundreds or thousands of people who watch this video there will be different layouts different names and etc sub volumes but let's have a look at ours ls block is a good one to do so this can help maybe this will help duff unknown right duff is something that can maybe be installed but will it help us not really it's just a nice graphical thing this is good enough for us look at the sizes sda1 is efi sda2 is the root sda3 is the swap those were decisions that we've made during the installation. Calamaris made this for us possible. We told him to be ButterFS and then it gets all these sub volumes. I look at the article, I scroll down and it says, let's mount, oops, first get my keys in. Load keys, BE, Latin, whoa, not that one, Latin one. Yes, Azerty following. Then mount. The biggest device is your root, right? The, where all the, your data is. That's SDA2 in this case. The biggest number is probably going to be your SDA2 or VDA2 or whatever name, right? NVMe thingies, right? It's it depends what hardware you have. But I think it's true. The biggest one probably. We're going to put it in mount in the folder MNT that is existing, but we're going to add an option, the O for option, not a zero, but an O for option. And we're going to say the sub volume that we're going to mount there has to be this sign. So an add sign, add sign is your root. No messages, probably good news. Go up, arrow up, and then I'm going to do the next one which is root and in the end we can do root now do we need all these sub volumes probably not right but it's a good exercise anyway because think about it what do you want to change i want to change the kernel because we, we crash the kernel but norm normally we don't know what we've eh, broken but do we need var do we need log do we need cache mm, probably not right so the most important thing will be your root and of course the boot EFI later on, your SDA1. But for the exercise, we follow the explanations there. So move, so that's root. Second one is home. We're not gonna do anything with home. Maybe you say that, but maybe I have my Qtile configuration in home or my Xmonad or my i3 and that's why I can't boot in. Then yes, we need to mount the home because the home has home slash Harry slash dot config slash i3 bspwm awesome chat wm. So then you need to mount it. And let's go up. So if that's root and that's home, and now we got var log, and we've named that log. Then we have var cache so where the 
packages for Pacman R, cache, and then var cache after let's see root home var log cache temp tmp tmp and last the server we don't need to mount snapshots because they're already mounted in the first line in root okay last thing oh yeah true you need to delete a few things here that does not exist for server there so this one does exist okay and most importantly if you broke something in the boot department there device sda1 is your ufi so you need to mount it in boot your efi this is acolytes things right you might need to mount it into mnt slash boot stop we need to mount it in mount boot efi if all that is done and there are no errors then you can shroot into this thing and then you have access to your system you can have a look around and say let's go or just do a list that's maybe easier give me the list of everything in boot okay cool it's there do we have a list inside EFI? It's there as well. So we have access to all these slices of the pizza, right? The SDA1 and the SDA2. We have access to the things. Um, can we see maybe the var cache and then Pacman and then packages? Yep, we have access to all of that. So now we fix things. We know what we've done wrong, so sudo pacman minus s install me Linux please, and often I will add headers. These days I do by default the headers always. Headers with an s. And then of course we'll check again the boot folder. We actually did not look there, but we know what we did, right? We removed it. So we're gonna have a look if VMS VM Linux with Z dash Linux is still well dash minus is there. Now you don't have to wait. Maybe strange things to do. Yeah, probably. But I don't know if that's gonna work, so I wanna know. Right control F3 and then root. No. <laughs> not gonna work so back to here this is control f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 the tty's let's wait be patient okay I do see some fatal library errors, but that's because uh, we're probably in shoot and Snapper says, uh, what's going on? As long as we can reboot. Give me a boot. There is Vimus VM Linux with Z Linux. Exit, please. Unmount me anything you can find, please. Reboot, please. Work, please. All right, then you start praying or fingers crossed or toes crossed and fingers crossed everything crossed and then you hope that everything is working again and then maybe the reflex i got it to work again now i need to save my data back in the cloud save backup 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 any way you see fit and that concludes our tutorial okay so we have now an article that also covers shrouting into a ButterFS system. Enjoy. Cheers.